patient notes. Gordon, Barbara, session one. Wake up, Miss Gordon. Wake up, injector. Another dose. I'm awake, you bastard. Good. Who is that man? Ask him when he gets here. Thank you, Miss Gordon. I was afraid that my preferred interrogation method would not be necessary. Do you know why I wear these syringes on my hand? Because you're insane? I usually disperse my toxin as an aerosol. It's efficient, but not pure. Now the terror I can elicit with a concentrated dose administered directly into the bloodstream, that is beautiful to witness. The long-term damage is more severe, of course. Are you done talking? I am, but you have barely begun. You'll be incoherent when my toxin dissolves the wall between your conscious mind and your suppressed subconscious nightmares. But as those fears slowly recede, they'll take this pathetic defiance with them. You're still talking. Very well. Take that fellow away from her. He's gone. Did he hurt you? Spare me the good cop, bad cop routine. No, 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 no. See, you're supposed to keep me talking. Play for time. Wait for Batman. That's what he taught you, right? I've got nothing to say to you. <laughs> me? I talked for hours. Because I knew, right? Batman was on his way to save me. And the bastard just let me talk. Eventually, I just ran out of things to say. So trust me. You can't count on Bruce to save you. Bruce? October 15th. Still no sign of the preacher. No records, nothing. Something tells me he won't stay hidden for long. For the Lord hath designed a most cruel and dark place. Yes, he has. It's where we put the heathen, the guilty men and women in his pavilion of pain. Where lakes of fire burn and hot coals fall as hailstones from a black sky. You see, Gotham's days are numbered. I've seen it. He's done shown it to me. He's shown me the fire. He's shown me the bodies writhing in place. Because that's what's waiting for you, you who don't accept me into your heart. 
I am the messenger of truth. For the Lord hath anointed me with his sacred oil. He hath separated me above all others and promised me and my children their rightful place in the new kingdom. Yeah, that's right. You will be made princes of all the earth. Amen. <laughs> Blackfire's sermons are getting worse. He's not waiting for Armageddon. He's bringing it. And I'm going to be right there when he does. Tape 11, October 19th. Going back over some old interviews I did on Gotham's homeless. Numbers were dropping. No one knew why. I think there might have been a link to Blackfire. My name's Terry Noonan. I worked the sewers best part of 20 years. You name it, I've seen it. Walls of fat so thick they'd swallow you up. Rats as big as dogs. Enough teeth and hair to give you nightmares. It's a different world down there. I understand you've got a theory, Mr. Noonan. Terry, please. Some people like to think the homeless are disappearing because Gotham's pulling them out of the gutter. But you think different? I've heard things. Strange things. Voices. Chanting. Chanting? Like church. It's been like this for months. I hear it more often, and it's getting louder. Have you ever tried to find it? Hey, I ain't stupid. Besides, none of my business. If you were smart, you'd think the same. Noonan went missing not long after this. Cops found his body stuffed in one of those giant fat deposits. They said it was an accident. I figure he found something he wasn't supposed to. What the hell are you up to, Blackfire? Tape 23, October 26th. I was searching the archives and this little gem cropped up. Cops arrest a vagrant who's had a run-in with Blackfire. Guess we're starting to get some idea what this whack job's been up to. Please state your name. I haven't got a name. Not anymore. We're his children. His disciples. Who? Deacon Blackfire. The one true messenger. The redeemer. He can save Gotham. He can save us all. Well, he sounds like a nice guy. You mock me, you fool. You don't know the power you're dealing with. Okay, why don't you tell me? A thousand years he has walked the earth, and a thousand more he will reign. You're smiling. You think I'm crazy. Hey, you're free to believe whatever you want. I doubted him too once, and then I saw it. The blood is his power. He bathes in it. And I'm sure he does. You can see it in their eyes when he draws the blade across their throat. They see it then. The light. Okay, buddy. Take it easy. I have to leave. We have work to do. The final sacrifice is coming. It will grant him everlasting life. Hey, sit down. Restrain him. Get off me. An army of homeless killers? Human sacrifices? Bathing in blood? I hope they're planning another sacrifice. You can't win the awards with our little human tragedy. Tape 25, October 30th. Got my hands on this forensic report. Human sacrifice. It's real. They're really happening. The deceased M. Hollis, located in the abandoned premises, front-facing room to Hammond Close. Male, 33 years, approximately 6 feet, 210 pounds, brown hair. Found lying face up on a table central to the room. Contusions on the wrist and ankle, indicating the victim was restrained with a thick cord or rope. The neck has been cut, deep incision severing the esophagus and main arteries. The body appears to have been drained of blood. Victim is naked. Clothes have been burned as well as personal effects. No sign of murder weapon. Symbols have been drawn onto the walls in victim's blood. Photograph locked. Scene secured by Detective Russo at 2100 hours. Something big's happening. Blackfire's here, I know it. He wants that final sacrifice, but where? I need that last piece of the puzzle, then bam, son of a bitch is mine. A big piece of the puzzle just fell into place. Lady of Gotham, that's where it's going down. I couldn't wait for you, Batman, sorry. This one's too important to miss. you 
wondering what the Lady of Gotham connection is. Turns out there was a black fire tied up with the Miyagani people. His name crops up in tribal stories. Seems like they shot him with arrows, shut him in a cave. You want to know where that cave is supposed to be? You got it. Directly beneath the Lady of Gotham. Looks like the irony didn't escape our preacher. Cash ran this guy's prince. Turns out he's got a past. Tax evasion, fraud. One file dates back to the 20s. Cash thinks it's got to be a mistake. Part of me wishes Blackfire was telling the truth. I guess we all want to believe, huh? Too bad he's just another con man. interview, October 15th. Please state your name. Henry. Henry Adams. What is this place, Batman? Where am I? You're here for your own safety, Henry. You could be sick. They're sick? I've never felt better in my whole life. You're sure? No mood swings, behavioral changes? Absolutely not. Those people in the other cells, who are they? Their blood was contaminated. Like yours. What? I mean, I'm not the only one. I think you're the key to helping them. Those smiles. I've seen that before. It's him. The Joker. We'll find a cure, Henry. We're in danger, Batman. You can't risk that kind of evil escaping into the world. You should kill them. All of them. It's the only way to be sure. That's all for now, Henry. Interview over. Mrs. Q, this is Mr. J. Come in. Over. Read me a lot of clear, Mr. J. My infiltration remains utterly flawless. Operation Pudding Break is a go. Yippee! How are my babies? They're in rude health, my dear. All dying to meet Mommy. Now, you remember the plan, don't you? Yeah. I don't really want to hit you over the head, though. It's gonna hurt. We've been over this, my little knuckle duster. It's the only way to convince Batman that I'm to be trusted. You do want to kill him, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, after that. Bird Boy's coming. See you soon. Mr. J, over and out.
but his overdose had devastating side effects. Joker was dying, and he needed a cure. To ensure my cooperation, he infected my blood with his own, leaving me no choice but to help him. But that wasn't all. He contaminated Gotham's blood banks, too. The result? The patients currently quarantined here. Joker's mutated blood behaves like a prion infection, attacking the brain and transforming these people into him. Unless we find a way to reverse the process, no one will be able to stop what he has unleashed.
like an angel. She swept into my turvy world, dragged me, screaming, <laughs> from shapeless chaos, and wrapped me in her arms. She was a beauty, Yellow, a masterpiece, perfect in every way, until Mother Goat found her. Imagine my horror when I emerged from that dreamy soup and discovered what she'd done. Placenta face, cork on smile, ribbons of ruptured flesh. Ooh, the nails had done their work. But by then my seed was already sown. Your life already begun. Mother would have killed you both had I not stopped her. <laughs> Saved you from her rage. <laughs> Day and night I worked. Month after month, sculpting her loathsome clay to recapture the beauty that saved me that night. The night of your creation. She clung to me as you grew, as I toiled to make her right again. But nothing pleased Mother Gold. Nothing. I did all I could to fix her, to make her perfect. But by the time you came along, I couldn't even look upon that spoiled canvas of her face. I couldn't let that be the face that greeted you in this world. I had to end it, Yalos. For you. For Mother. She left me no choice. I know what you're doing, Crane. Talking to me away from Cobblepot and the others. You're appealing to my ego. Is it working? Ha! I don't have an ego, Crane. I'm far too brilliant. Especially for the likes of you. Of course, Edward. But nonetheless, we have a mutual foe. A foe I could vanquish with but one of my cerebral lobes intact. Yet, here you are. Proposing an alliance that would let you bask in my luminescent glory. But what if you failed, Edward? What if, by some underhand means, of course, the Batman were to humiliate you again? Absurd! I know, Edward, it's a frightening thought. How many failures can even your enviable reputation withstand? But, if the Bat were distracted, and tugged in too many directions by too many threats, why, then you would be assured of the upper hand. I, uh, I don't know how to respond to your ridiculous insinuations, so all I will say is this. Tell me which day you plan to attack Gotham, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, I will coincidentally put my entirely separate and superior master plan into effect. How kind, Edward. I will keep my fingers crossed. Who is this? Ah, Miss Kyle. You have the privilege of conversing with me, the Riddler. Gotham's premier supervillain and intellectual colossus. And I'm honored, Eddie. Really? Bye. Wait, wait. I'll get to the point. I find myself in need of your unique skill set, your street smart, as your intellectually challenged kind adorably calls them. I'm going to adorably hang up on you, Eddie. No, 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 listen. I need something acquired, something valuable. Sorry, Eddie. It's just that I have all these clients who aren't insecure little power mad man children. <sighs> Fine. You may name your fee. Information. Ah, the most valuable commodity of all. Scarecrow's planning something involving Batman. I might be furnished with the absurd particulars of his ridiculous scheme. <laughs> I'll get you what you want, Eddie, if you tell me what I need to know. Right, okay. Riddler bot memory formatted. 
Adaptive AI algorithms uploaded. Joints oiled. Now. <clears throat> Give my creation life! Ah, damn it! Useless hunk of dead metal. Do you want to become a semi-automated theme park mannequin? Because that's the fate in store for you. Problem, Eddie? Ah, Miss Kyle. <laughs> You're here. And you already have company. Almost, anyway. Did you lose your friend's batteries? Why, you... Yes. <laughs> in a manner of speaking, anyway. I'm depleted. And always compensating for it, too. <laughs> oh, Catwoman, your wit never ceases to... occur. Now, I need you to procure a set of rechargeable energy cells for me. Stag Enterprises' Nimbus Tech will work. I'm sure Wayne Enterprises has an equivalent. Got it. It's been a pleasure as always, Eddie. Except for the talking to you part. Wait! At least take a glimpse at what it is you're supposed to be stealing. There, in the robot's chest cavity. Go on, it won't bite. Eddie, there's no... <laughs> what the hell? Eddie, make this thing let me go. Batteries? You think I needed batteries? Oh, Miss Kyle, you underestimated my bespoke power supply innovations, and that was your downfall. What is this, Eddie? This is, you are, bait. You see, I've identified what I believe to be some sort of attachment between you and Batman. The base nature of this attachment, quite frankly, disgusts me. But it will bring him here. You'll regret this! <laughs> the world's greatest detective does not frighten me! He's not the reason you'll regret it. be 
be an act of mercy when you do. Like a war. 